Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and today we'll talk about what this is. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. I hope you're here because you like magic because I love magic. I love magic. I love playing cards. What I do here is I do magic reviews of some of the latest and greatest book reviews also and even some classics of magic. Today we got a classic for you. Uh, I also review playing cards and I also do giveaways. I do giveaways every single month. So if you want free magic tricks, free playing cards, make sure you hit like and subscribe, crash and smash and destroy all your buttons so that you're notified when my latest review goes live. This month, I'm actually gonna give away 14 decks of cards. I'm gonna give away 14 decks of cards over a brick, over a brick of some of the coolest cards I've reviewed this year. So you wanna make sure you got your notifications turned on so you don't miss it. Today we're gonna to do a lot of things. Uh, number one, we'll talk about the iBoss, the Kevlar iBoss from Sorcery Manufacturing. This is the IT reel that I own. Uh, we'll also talk about some of the reels that you've been asking about. And we'll also talk about IT, and this is especially important if you've never used IT or if this is your first introduction to IT. First off, why are we talking about this? Why are we talking about this at all? Well, I'll tell you, because every single time a new IT reel comes out on the market, and there's a new one, it seems like every year or at least every other year, and if it's not every other year, it's you know the, the first edition came out and then the second edition came out, and then everybody wants me to review those reels, okay? Whether it's Tarantula or Venom or Scorpion, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, whenever one of these hot, flashy, expensive reels comes out, tons of people wanna see it, they wanna know about it, okay? So that's kind of why we're talking about it. What I'm gonna show you is something more of an introductory level to IT, and you especially want to pay attention if you've never used a reel before, especially if you've never used IT before. I think you wanna pay attention, you wanna dial in, because this is for you. This is what I use, this is the iBoss. This is the iBoss with the Kevlar uh, IT, all right? This is from Sorcery Manufacturing. Uh, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get 50 feet of superior quality Kevlar IT. You're gonna get this amazing little uh, retraction device, and it clips onto your clothing with this alligator clip. You'll also get a typed out written instruction sheet, which I believe has about 10 tricks. Uh, you'll learn how to spring the deck and then find the card once all the cards are on the floor. They'll teach you how to use this with a confederate to determine a chosen number. You'll learn a rising card, floating ring, floating bill, balancing card, uh, ghost touches your spectator on the back of their hand when it's hovering over their selected card, uh, a haunted matchbox, you'll get the basics of how to wear it, how to set it up, not a lot of pictures in this, not a lot of pictures, obviously no video, and it's a little awkward to unfold and refold. Now here's my suggestion, I'm gonna make the suggestion right at the top of all of this. If you've never owned IT before, never used IT before, never had a reel before, I'm gonna suggest before you drop 150 bucks, $250 on some big flashy expensive IT reel, get this first. Get this first. It is such a better investment. Why? Because it's $15. It's 15 bucks. It's $15 and you get a reel and you get thread. Especially if you've never worked with IT before. Make a small investment before you make a large investment. I've read a lot of reviews for some of these big, expensive, flashy reels, right? The latest and greatest, whatever gets the you know, coolest hype or has the best commercial. And if you read through those reviews, there are still a lot of people who dropped a ton of money on these things who aren't happy with them or find fault with them. So I just want to put that out there. People struggle with IT at all levels. I don't care if you're a professional and you do this for a living, IT can be a little frustrating. And to be honest, uh, magicians, if you ask them, and please comment below uh, down there with your opinion, but I guarantee you, magicians have very strong opinions about IT. They either love it or hate it. That's it. There's, there's not a lot of people that I would say are in the indifferent zone. They either use it and they love it, and it's like, yeah, it's great, and they don't mind all of the 
the difficulties with it and the struggling with it because the payout is high for them, so they're, they're willing to risk it. And then there's others who just can't stand it and say, I will never touch it. So you don't know where you fall in that yet. You've watched the trailer and you're like, oh, I wanna make things fly. Okay, great, I understand. But to do it convincingly and to be able to use this material on an everyday basis, uh, I would suggest you make a small investment before you make a large investment. And another thing you might not know is you can buy IT without a reel. You can buy loose IT, that's right. In fact, that is how I first got introduced to IT, uh, just a strand and it was taped behind my ear and I had wax at the other end and that was it. And to be honest, it was a really good system. It was a really good hookup because I had less complications with it because the reel adds a whole nother element to the process. The reel adds a whole nother complication to the process. So you can actually go to penguinmagic.com and buy loose IT. Uh, I think the top three that I would recommend are the legacy thread. Uh, you can get the non-stripped standard and you can get the Masika elastics. Those are the, the three that I think would be worth getting if you just wanted to buy it loose and, and not have a reel at all. It's totally plausible to do a lot of tricks with loose thread. You don't need a reel. Now I'm sure I don't have to go into all the positives and all the good for IT. You've seen the trailers, right? You've seen people, their jaws hit the ground and they're like, I can't believe you're making something float, okay? You, you wanna make stuff float, okay? Let me give you the negatives, all right? Let me give you the negatives. If you've never used IT before or you don't have a, a solid background in it, let me give you some of the negatives. Um, number one, it's hard to see right? It's invisible. <laughs> it's hard to see and it's hard to grab. It's hard to grab, especially when it's stuck or loose uh, somewhere and you're trying to like narrow it. You're trying to, you know, like grab it. There's all kinds of techniques to use uh, to see it better and to grab onto it. And they're kind of like all these little tweaks and you'll hear advice from all kinds of magicians who's, who've worked with it before. But I mean, let's, let's be honest. If your spectators can't see it, it's gonna be hard for you to see as well. And the issues with that are uh, lighting. Broad daylight outside is probably the worst lighting there is. Bright neon lights above you, again, would be bad. It's not completely 100% invisible, right? It's gotta be visible to the naked eye somehow. So lighting is always key, and it's always key when you're trying to work with it by yourself in private trying to fix it or repair it. Second negative is you're forced to work with a lot of lighter objects. I've seen IT that is super duper strong and can, can lift really heavy rings, but a lot of times when you purchase the reel or when you buy it um, and you're not aware of what you're getting, you're, you're usually getting a cheaper IT that isn't as strong. And if you immediately say, I'm gonna float this finger ring and it breaks and, and you haven't had a lot of experience with it yet, you're gonna be frustrated very quickly. So initially when you pull it out of the box, I would just suggest always start with light objects until you get a sense of how strong it is because heavy objects will break your IT. Heavy objects will break your IT. The other thing that will break your IT is when uh, your anchor zips back. That's why you get the reel, right? So that it zips out and zips back. You want the reel for easy setup and easy reset. That's why we all get reels, okay? It makes, it makes carrying it easy, it makes reset easy. That's, that's, the, that's the beauty and that's the, that's the good news about having the reel. The bad news is when it zips back, there's this force to it and it can snap your anchor. And as soon as it snaps your anchor, you gotta go to your backup. I hope you have a backup. Or you're done for the day. <laughs> Because uh, if you're at school or if you're out at a club, this is not the right environment for you to go off somewhere and then reset and fix and tweak your reel. That's not, probably not gonna happen. A lot of magicians, if they have a favorite reel, they buy two, have one as a backup, or they buy this, they buy the iBoss as their backup. They have their more expensive one that they perform with, and then if it, something happens, then at least you've got your iBoss as a backup, as a nice cheap alternative. You might even have two or three iBosses because they're so cheap uh, and have them as spares ready to go because you know this is your living and you can't afford to not do the trick and you also don't have time to go off into a well-lit room and repair this. And that's really the fourth negative is that once it breaks, reloading it, finding it, fixing it, that can be frustrating. So I can see you're on board. You're like, okay, maybe I will invest in the $15 
Kevlar IBOS. That sounds great, David. I can't wait to get it. There's, there's also negatives to getting a cheaper reel. There, there are. There's, there, this is why people get the more expensive reels, because it solves a lot of the problems. Uh, it solves some of the frustration, right? But whenever you get something that's inferior or less expensive, right, there's always going to be some trade-off. And the trade-off with having the cheaper reel, obviously, is that you get cheaper materials. The, the casing, the housing, that can crack. Uh, and like I said, there's a, there's a little hole where the IT comes out and in. That hole is usually made with a drill. And once the drill goes through there, that edge is really rough. And having that rough edge grind against your IT can make it snap. Um, I've, I've also seen the little alligator clip that holds it onto your clothing is just glued on. And so depending on what kind of glue they use, it could just fall off. And so then and it's on the ground, right? And like I showed you earlier, the instructions are just a giant typed out uh, piece of paper, right? And you get the more expensive versions, then you're gonna get two hours of video and the video is done by some really cool teacher. But the video is great because it gives you tons of ideas. It shows you exactly how to do hookup. They answer a lot of Q&A that a typed up piece of paper can't give you. And so in a lot of cases, when you're paying all that money uh, for the reel, half the time, you know, people say, oh, this reel is so expensive. A lot of the, your expense is going into the production quality of making that training video. So you're not really paying for an expensive reel. Maybe the reel was half that cost or less. Really, the price tag is on, you know, getting the talent to make the video and the production day of shooting and editing it and all that. So there's probably more going into the video end. And when you pay that big price, you're paying for a really great video. And a really great video is nice to have, especially if you don't have experience with IT. If you don't have any experience with IT, a big folded piece of typed up paper might also make you frustrated. So there's the balance of what are you gonna do? You know, how do you think this is best to approach it? Personally, for me, I think I would rather have you have some experience with IT and have you decide then and there that you like it before you make the larger investment. Uh, because if you buy something that's 15 bucks and you're like, yeah, I love it, but there's just a couple tweaks and I wish I would rather have the more expensive version that would eliminate these tweaks, then you, at least you know what you're getting into. I would say if you get the Kevlar iBoss from Sorcery Manufacturing and you love it and you're like, this is great, I, I can't, that, I, this is a great investment, but you still want some instruction, right? You still want better instruction. Then I would suggest the classic instruction, this is the one everyone talks about, is Who's Afraid of Invisible Thread by John LeClaire. That's about 40 bucks, okay? 40 bucks and you're literally getting, this is, you're literally getting the best instruction that's ever been made. It is older, all right? I, obviously it's older, but there's really not a lot better out there. Um, Michael Lamar has a bunch of different videos. Again, they're gonna be older, but this kind of stuff doesn't go out of style. You learn the old stuff, it doesn't matter. You put your own creative new spin on it. Uh, like I said, Michael Mars got some great stuff. Uh, Bruno Copen has got a great DVD out there. Check that out as well. All right, so that's everything I can say about the iBoss, the Kevlar version from Sorcery Manufacturing. Uh, like I said, I think it's a great investment, especially if you're interested in getting one of the more expensive versions, but you don't have a lot of experience with IT or you have no experience with IT. I purchased mine with my own money from penguinmagic.com and I know they have it in stock and I would suggest you head there if you would like to purchase it as well. Hey, thanks for sticking with me through this video. Um, as always, if you have any comments or any questions about IT or you have suggestions or you have a difference of opinion, you're like, I don't agree with David, he's crazy. Comment below, let people know your experience or what you like, uh, video instructions you like, reels you've had success with, um, just any pointers that you could pass on that might help somebody else. That would be a great addition and I always love interacting with you guys. I read every comment. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.